First, we do want to update you on a major crash along I-70. This all happened around 4 yesterday afternoon. In all, it involved at least 11 cars and three semis. Right now, police are telling us there are multiple fatalities from that crash. We don't know specifics yet. Denver 7's Nicole Brady is live near the still active scene this morning near Colorado Mills Parkway. And we expect to learn more about what happened here in a few hours. Now, our next update from Lakewood Police should come at 7 this morning. Uh, right now, we are still waiting to learn the identities of those people killed. So uh, this was a very tragic scene, of course, and you can see uh, a still a very messy scene this morning on eastbound I-70 right under the Denver West Boulevard overpass here. Uh, flames just tore through these vehicles yesterday. Now we want to show you some video that was captured right at the moment that this crash happened just before 5 p.m. yesterday. Uh, you can see uh, from this YouTube live stream here a semi speeding past that semi plowed into traffic that had slowed because of that earlier crash. Three other semis 11 other cars were caught in the fiery collision. We spoke to several witnesses, uh, one who had just received her driver's permit a couple months ago. They described the terror that they felt for their own lives seeing those oncoming flames. The back of my truck lifted up and shoved me forward and I was hitting other cars. And um, when I came to a stop, I looked in my rearview mirror and all I saw was a bunch of flames. And um, I jumped out of the vehicle as fast as I could. Yeah, I felt the flames. It got the back of my neck and my arm, and I, and I jumped out. I cried. I was so worried about myself and my, the families and how close I was to possibly being hurt or killed. Yeah, those uh, people feeling very lucky this morning. Of course, others uh, were injured in this. About 10 people injured uh, with uh, minor injuries mostly, but of course we are still waiting to learn the identities of those who uh, sadly were killed in this crash. The driver of the truck, the semi that caused this, was among the injured and hospitalized. We don't yet know if he'll face charges as a result of this. This is all uh, questions that we'll be asking police at that news conference later this morning at 7. And of course, Jason, this eastbound lane here will remain closed through the morning rush hour. Westbound's expected to open, though, at some point. Yeah.